Hey there, I'm going to show you how to do some automation on social media with um, the use of Deliberate. Deliberate does have a freemium plan, so some of the features that you may see as we're working through this video aren't actually available to me because I'm only on the free version. That works absolutely fine, as you probably are aware, but I'm going to point it out anyhow. Be very cautious about automating social media with what you're doing and why. So that little disclaimer aside, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up a new feed on Deliverate. And in my case, I already have a route set up, which my route, think of it as your destination, is whatever social network you want the content to be posting to. In this case, I wanted to go to my Twitter account. I could also add LinkedIn and a couple other other things you can see here under add a route. You can like do um, different things, but in that case, just kind of like go through like what you want. I'm just going to show you how to set up a new blog post to be posted to whatever your end destination is. Again, in my case, Twitter, and we're going to use Lifehacker as the example. So I have their website pulled up. I am in Chrome and I do have an extension in Chrome that I can easily get the RSS feed um, because it's way easier. I'm sure it's on their website somewhere, but where um, this is just considerably faster to use a shortcut such as this. So I'm going to copy the link address for the RSS feed because that's what you need. And in deliver it, you could also, Lifehacker is big enough, it probably would come back if I actually typed in Lifehacker. Let's find out. Um, they are pretty prolific. They are. Um, however, some of the smaller sites very well may not come back and you might actually need the RSS feed. So I'm going to show you how to do it that way. Um, so with the Chrome extension that I have, and you saw me copy the feed, I actually need to get rid of this view source information as well as the colon that is immediately preceding the HTTP. So this is what we want. We want feed this thing right here, the URL. So I'm going to say plus down here and then I'm going to connect socials and here this is my Twitter account. Again, I could push this through to LinkedIn or something else if I wanted to. Tons of choices as you can tell and you'd have to go through these on an individual basis. For example, Google Plus, maybe they allow personal profiles but they don't allow company pages. Kind of same thing could happen. Well, this is LinkedIn company actually. Uh, but just know that there may be some limitations for the networks that have multiple options. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. I want to say start posting, but this is where we need to actually edit this stuff. A site such as Lifehacker probably publishes, I don't know, 30 posts a day. And we do not, in my case, I don't want 30 posts a day going through to my Twitter feed. So from this route information over here on the right hand side, I'm going to click the little cog icon and I'm going to go here to updates. Right now, how often is this looking? By default, it's looking every 30 minutes to see if Lifehacker has published something new. Defaulting to posting 10 per update. Well, that can be really overwhelming for any social network and maximum post per day, 100. Ugh, don't want that either. So. Choose whichever option works for you. I'm not going to keep Lifehacker set up in mine when I'm done. Um, so I'm just going to save every three hours. I'd only want one post. Again, choose what you want because you don't want to like piss off your like connections on various networks if you're just like simultaneously posting a whole bunch of stuff. So I would say one, again, your call. Maximum post per day, eh, three. But pick again, whatever works for you. And then this little thing here is kind of fun. So if you click this eye, you'll get to read all the different options that are available. I personally happen to like the randomized item order, the very last option here, but use whichever works best for you and for what you're doing. It may vary um, based on the individual ones that you're setting up. Do what works for you. All right, so I'm going to hit save. I'm going to come back here now because I also want to keep doing this other stuff. So prefix, start items with, 
end items with. So let's say, for example, I have this going out to Twitter, and let's say I wanted to reference Lifehacker in these tweets. So I need to find their, there we go, their Twitter username. So in this case, maybe I'd like to end the items with via at Lifehacker. So that way when the tweets come out, they at the very end would say via Lifehacker. So I'd be giving them credit, which is a really awesome, nice thing. You'd like to do that on Twitter. That's the way you can do that. And then you can also pick a bunch of these other things as far as filtering. Um, maybe you want to make sure that you post every single thing that Lifehacker posts about iPhones. Maybe you don't want to post anything that has the word iPhone in it. So just kind of think through these very carefully as to what you'd want to actually post. You can kind of pick and choose a little bit. And under advanced on the Twitter option in particular, I don't use this for Facebook. I just right now use it for LinkedIn and Twitter. But they have this option here, enable photo posting. And it's really nice actually for the networks that you can, again, play with them on each individual network to make sure they're coming through the way that you'd like. But this little feature, super handy to have that turned on. As you can tell, it was turned on by default. And then you can go through some of these things. Um, and again, some spots you'll go to do something and it's gonna tell you, hey, you have to pay to upgrade. But this photo on, this item text that we talked about, these are all included in the freebie plan and you can certainly use them. So I'm gonna save this again. Now I'm gonna come out to my own Twitter account. And you can see while we were talking, this here actually posted. See how the URL is showing up as a deliberate URL and notice the photo came through how beautiful fantastic right the only thing that you don't see here is the via at lifehacker at the very end because this pulled through and posted while i was still setting that up in deliberate and that's why that's missing um, however if i continue to let this run you would start seeing where it would say that it was coming through from None of these apparently have it. It's really funny, like why are all of my things showing up as deliver it all of a sudden? Not quite sure what's going on, but that's making me a little anxious. Here, this is this is not one from deliver it, but the via thing will start showing at the end as it is here in this example, as you can see. So of course, um, now you know how to set up deliver it and to use the photo option again. You can do this with a lot of different networks, Facebook, Pinterest, Google+, Plus, etc. But play around with these a little bit and this gives you an opportunity to see how, from a basic standpoint, to set one up for Twitter.